G'day everyone, Stewie Bourne from Shadow Tanunda from Down Under with an update on Vintage 2012. But firstly, thanks to everyone around the world, all our distributors that helped make 2011 such a success. Wine Spectator Magazine's Top 100 Wines of the World, Wine Spectator Magazine Top 100 Best Value Wines of the World and Robert Parker electing to choose us as one of the top 20 great value producers of the world as well. So we're just going to continue that this year with Harvest. We'll give you a bit of an update. So let's get out into the vineyard and see what it's looking like. So here we are out in the vineyard and where are we up to at the moment? Semion, Riesling, the Whites. They're all pretty much done. They've all come in. They're fresh, they're clean, they're crisp. They've got beautiful acidity, great aromatics and lovely fresh citric tang. And as to the reds like this Shiraz out here, this is coming off in the next couple of days and this is what we're seeing. The start of the red Barossa harvest is beautiful. Small bunches, great flavours and tannin development. Small berries with pack full of flavour. The seeds are all starting to ripen up beautifully. So vintage 2012, just at the kickoff of the reds, looking great. So into the winery now, and pretty much if you look over my shoulder, you can see what we mean about small scale batch fermentation. So I've got a whole lot of these little open fermenters we're bringing in just a few tonne at a time, and we're separating out each batch to give rise to a whole bunch of unique little parcels of wine that we'll blend later. Shiraz just behind me has just come in, and you can already see from the early colour these wines are going to be fantastic. Now from fermentation on skins, the next part of the process of course is going to be using the famous Shadow Tanunda Basket Press. So behind me you've got the Vaseline Booker Basket Press, it's really the Rolls Royce of Basket Press. It's running at the moment, it's very gentle, you can barely even see it move, it's squeezing these ferments really, really gently. We don't want over extraction, we don't want bitterness, and so a machine like this is really going to be the best, most efficient and gentle way to press our fermentations. The Shiraz coming out the bottom now. Beautiful, just so fleshy, so sweet, so rich, so ripe, but yet so soft. And it's all because of this basket press. 